Hello everyone and welcome back to another 13 Nights of Halloween. I'm here with one of my 13 guests. I'm here with Toast. Say hello. Hey, you may it's remember me. Toast. Nobody remembers me. <laughs> well, you may remember Toast from either on Twitter when he publicly says I'm leaving and he has never returned. Good. Or on Modcast as one of the old members of the Modcast back when he was a child. Back when we started that so many years ago. Yeah, I was I was in high school. Yeah. And here I am, my third year at college. God That's damn. That's a long time. Don't say that. That makes me feel old. Um, <laughs> and also the One Binding of Isaac video we did. And this is the I game that he specifically wanted us to play. It's Monster House for the game. I said he DMC1 was. or this. <laughs> he said this or DMC1. And I feel like... Zen DMC1 would... gives good uh, spooky vibes. Because it is uh, the original Resident Evil 4. It is very much so. Like, I can tell you, I have never played classic RE. Uh, the only R RE game I've played is 5, I know. You can you can comment below how much that upsets you. No, uh, we're, we're at the point now where people love RE5. I love RE5. It's a, it's a super good co-op game. I understand for RE, it's kind of stupid. I get it. It's such a blast to play co-op. It is a very fun co-op game. Uh, but, so uh... Yeah. So, so yeah, here are our options for Monster House. New game, load game, options, language, extras, and doubt are dead. <laughs> we gotta check uh, the extras, though. If, if, if this is like a classic D Oh, never mind. You, you remember classic DVDs that would have all the special features and features, they'd have the yeah. DVD games? Yes, they would. But I specifically now. remember. I specifically oh, have the fondest memories of. Uh, I think over the hedge. Over the hedge had a decent amount. This is also dead. Thou art dead. Unfortunately, we actually need tokens from the game to play it. So hopefully, we'll find <laughs> it, and then we will find out what Thou art dead is. So let me. Yeah, that would be a good way to end it. <laughs> yeah, let's hit up new game. So for people who don't know what Monster House is, or don't remember it, or they, oh, there you go. Let's go new game too. That was a test. That was a test. No one saw that. Um, <laughs> this is going to be basically it was a 3D animated movie, which I'm pretty sure this is why this video is going to get copyright struck in because of all the fucking explanation. Um, but basically, there's this house. And there's a man who doesn't want this old ass man dressed up in like <laughs> looking like Steve Rogers from Captain America. If we didn't get the Super Soldier Serum, he kind of looks like what a older aged pre pre serum steve rogers would look like i see it yeah and uh he guards this that's house horrifying it is a very scary house i wouldn't have it. thought of that until you said it because uh fun fact i can't see things in my head i can't think of stuff like that <laughs> really you can't yeah so obviously you know this is always a fun tidbit. Uh, obviously, you know, if most people get asked to imagine, say, like, an apple in their head, and you close your eyes, you can see an apple. I don't see anything. So you're... I... There is a name for it that I don't remember well, and I remember even less how to pronounce it. I... I'm curious. But yeah, I, I can't visualize stuff in my head. I still have dreams, funnily enough. Like, dreams, I guess, are technically, like, a different part of the mind. I can see dreams. Oh, we're deep into, like, the last 30 minutes of the oh, movie. Shit. <laughs> where the oh. monster house becomes active. Damn, they throw you right in. Spoilers, the house is actually haunted. Oh, yeah, I should also say I suggested this game when I played about, I want to say, 10 to 15 minutes of it. But you said you stopped playing PS2 because you back were too scared. I don't remember if I was too scared. I don't remember why I stopped playing. I think I just got bored. We'll see if it's really that boring. After that amazing line of this is how taco meat feels like. Wouldn't it be great if this was like Doom? If it like <laughs> the reveal is Yo. that they super soaker and then it's like fucking Doom but you're fighting a house. If this is just a Doom, I'd take it. It'd be pretty sweet. Look at all these amazing cutscenes. Yeah, this game she's is, dead. This is basically a modern day AAA game with uh, how many cutscenes are here at the start? It's like Uncharted, but in a haunted house. Alright. Okay. So, first of all, these controls are not great. Yeah, oh. I'm gonna press X to like. Did you 
figure did that figure just move? Now I'm getting more uh trying to think of a good third person Get game. Away from me. Uh Gears of War. People like Gears of War. I didn't. I like Gears of War. You got Marcus Phoenix. I played, uh, the only game I played was 3, and it was like, okay. Uh, you want me to tell you the best part about one of the modern day, um... Let me f first of all figure out how the fuck to make this man move. So, <laughs> this is not a traditional, as you can see here, I don't strafe, I stand in place. I think this is tank controls. A makes oh, me shoot no. with Super Soaker, I press B to like, pump it. As you can see here, like, watch. And then I pump it, pump it, pump it. <laughs> Do you just have infinite water? I think so. Huh? Oh god. What am I supposed to do with that? I would have killed for that as a kid. Yeah, and I would have had no friends to shoot with it. Yeah. yeah. We're going there. <laughs> so, the, so there's a part in Gears 4 where you have to go get Marcus Phoenix, and now he's an old man. He's become a tomato farmer. Um, oh no. And there's an Easter egg where if you keep shooting his tomatoes, he'll go, Stop shooting my goddamn tomatoes! <laughs> <laughs> but if you keep great. doing it, because there's a lot of tomatoes and you can shoot them all, he goes like, oh, I was going to make a sauce with that tomato. So he's just Don <laughs> Joe DiMaggio going crazy about sauce. He's like, that was going to be Dom's sauce, you assholes. <laughs> no, I can't make it. <laughs> it's like a 10-minute video where it's like you keep shooting the tomatoes and he just keeps going crazier and crazier. So, oh, shit, I just got new gear. I'm playing. I'm also playing Final Fantasy XIV. The toaster is on fire. Toast. Oh shit. <laughs> we gotta save. Oh him. no! Please is save this me. A kitchen? Yeah. Okay, we got him. We gotta save Toast. Oh, That's one it's, it's toast. a little overcooked. <laughs> oh, it's still good. Reload your water gun with that, baby. I'd use I, it. I would not use that. I might. It's got a lot. Then of again, I, I use I use a I use a ten dollar great value toaster. So I probably should just use anything at this point. That's fair. Yeah, this these controls are very weird. I'm starting to see why you stopped maybe playing it. <laughs> because these controls are like Resident Evil tank controls, but weirder somehow. I'm trying to think of like fun, a modern game which uses the control streams. Fun fact, I've had toaster in my username since like middle school. I didn't own a toaster until uh, my first year of college. So we're do we're we're doing good on that front. I have a toaster now. I don't use it. You should use toaster. I. It's good. Toast is good. I don't eat a lot of. What? I say that. I don't. I don't make a lot of sandwiches. I like eating sandwiches though. Sandwiches are pretty. pretty good. I got this like local bakery that makes sandwiches. Oh, it's so fucking good. I don't know if you can hear the music now, but it's it's pretty. I bumpy. can. Stay back, you chair. Now the evil chair is here to Not the us. chair! Oh god! Back the, it's literally an evil chair. So I, I hope we don't I hope we don't find a room with a piano. Oh like it oh, We're gonna get know, Mario 60 forward. I would not enjoy that if I had to actually fight the the um piano from Mario 64. No thank you. <laughs> That's why I never want them to remake Mario 64 for real seas. Because Now, to be fair, that was a pretty spooky chair. For a kid, yeah. I would be terrified if I saw these chairs. Because now I can't trust any of these fucking chairs. <laughs> they could be spooky chairs waiting to attack me. Everything's alright. Hey, watch it! Oh shit. There we go. Now I have a duck button. It's because you're doing this fucking pump action with your water gun, you keep the, the, the crouch button is not on B, it is on L. Hmm. That's weird. There has to be a way through here. All right, let me see. You need a bathroom key to open this door. All right, let's see. Oh, did I set something off? No, I actually don't. Know. These are evil chairs. Thank God they're just chairs, so they actually can't harm me. <laughs> So far, that oh monkey, that was a collective monkey. Sorry, these fucking chairs need to leave me the fuck alone. What? what the hell? What? What is attacking me now? <laughs> what is that? 
I need to find something. I'm gonna leave this room. This is a terrible room that of everything trying to kill me. Do you even have a map? No, I don't think so. It's a house, dude. I don't. This is. I broke into a man's house. How am I supposed to just know? There it is. How am I just supposed to know? You have to watch the movie to get the map. Yeah, you have to actually watch the movie. And I would suggest people actually watch Monster House. It's actually a pretty good movie. Just thought of you gotta have Monster House movie save file. <laughs> it'll it'll scan your memory card and you get the map. That's how you unlock it. Yeah, this is Man, I'm I, I miss when games did that. When games you know, used I, to when Like the you'd Monster get House bonuses for having like a... When you oh get boy. bonuses for having like other saves on your game on your uh, memory card. Oh yeah, that's true. Like my my main ex my main one I always loved was <laughs> Ratchet and Clank one through three. Mm -hmm. If you had uh, if you'd gotten up to a certain point in like Ratchet and Clank one, uh, you get told uh, you have to be an employee for like Gadgetron for like c this certain amount of years to get a d discount there. And by the time you hit the third game, a few years have passed, you actually get a discount if you have save in a data. And then you always got the weapons from, you got some weapons from the previous game. Like in two, you could buy the weapons from one, and three, you could buy some weapons from two. I miss when games did that, that was fun. I think the only game that still does that is Yakuza. Cause Yakuza, yeah. like, if you have save data, like, and now because they're also all on PC, like every single time I open up a Yakuza game to play it, it's like, oh, you played <laughs> Kiwami 1, Kiwami 2, you played 3, and I, yeah, unfortunately my zero save exists on PS4, so I don't get that Ooh. bonus, but I do get a bunch of bonus for everything else. There must be a way I should play it. 3 at some point. I'm, I'm, I've been meaning to get back in the Yakuza, but now I play an MMO. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Three is good. I like three a whole it, bunch. It it plays. I the just worst got burnt out because I went from zero to Kiwami one and two like back to back. Oh yeah, that's. A, and that's I was a... getting. I got burnt out midway through Kiwami two. I had to put it down for a couple months. Like it's not a bad game. I just. I can only tolerate the same battle system for so long. <laughs> let, let me tell you right now, it's a good thing you stopped before three because three might actually make you stop the series in general. <laughs> it, it plays completely different, but also it plays so bad. Yeah, I, I don't expect a ton for it being a PS3 game. <laughs> Look at that! I got a slingshot, by the way. The world's apparently strongest slingshot because I was able to destroy that fucking lock on it. <laughs> lock picking lawyer's got nothing on this. <laughs> Where you at now, misogyny? The female character is the strongest in the game. My tier list ranking so far. <laughs> She's number one because of the slingshot. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Yakuza. Yakuza still does that. I wish the more games did that, though. Yeah. Um, in the old Animal Crossing, if you bought a Animal Crossing game new, you got a special Animal Crossing memory card that came with NES games. Yeah, I remember yeah. that. I remember yeah. a couple of them I don't think ever got used in the data, technically. You yeah, like, no, cheat your, the, cheat it in. Some, yeah, there was some that you had to put in a password to get, and which I did as a kid. So I got to play Punch Out the way you were meant to play it, <laughs> which was inside of Animal Crossing. <laughs> I feel like nah, nah, of... nah, nah. The real way you're supposed to play those games during the like two-minute trials you got in Brawl. Cool. Everything's cool. <laughs> oh yeah. That's how you experience the NES. I used to play those like that. How does flashlight bulb is broken? This oh, is man. the part where I mentioned I never had Brawl as a kid. Man, now you're just like making <sighs> fake memories now, trying to. Because I was like, oh yeah, I do remember that in Brawl. Evil plant, by the way. I always went. I always played Brawl at a friend's house. Brawl. I I had a Wii, but that was always every kid's got that like one game. You see it at Walmart, right? You'll go to be like, oh, I want to go look at the video games, and you know they'll let you you destroy your neck by looking up at the screen. Yeah. I ha I do have memories of that. Those aren't fake. Okay. I I'm sure plenty of kids got neck pain from looking up at the screen trying to play the PS2 demos. That's I fair. sure did. But Brawl was happened? always that one game I would see in the store and be like, I want it. I never got it. Yeah, I had to force a friend to give me back my copy of Brawl because for the longest time <laughs> that was the only Wii game you could play. It was yeah. like that and no more heroes. Yeah, and Mario Kart. Yeah, Mario, Mario but Mario Kart. Kart came, I think, after um, Brawl. Mm. 
I sure remember the early Wii. Oh, that's been a no one remembers the early Wii. Did you know that the Ninja Breadman, the, the, the people who developed that shit game, were actually one of the top third parties of the Wii? Oh. So everyone makes fun of that game, but it was actually a super big seller, which maybe is why the Wii did not do so great in terms of third quality in games. <laughs> is yeah, there is a metric fuck ton of shovelware on the Wii. Yeah. And there's the a, DS. There's a goose. Yeah, but the DS, the good games of the DS are amazing. They're really good. They're really good. Going on? The because I'm going to die on this hill, uh, Phantom Hourglass is a really good Zelda game and a great DS game. Fuck you. You're right, that is a hill to die on. I've, that's not a very popular thing. I've seen. Though I think I did see one video of someone going, Phantom Hourglass is actually super alright, and people are too hard on it. It's not the best, of course. Like, you got Link to the Past, Twilight Princess. Love those games. This kid's getting fucked up, by the way. I am also of the opinion Skyward Sword was already fine. That is already fun. I actually remember liking Skyward Sword pretty decent. It, I had a blast playing it as a kid. I now, did. of course, that was kid, but like, I, I played a little a bit of the. I was a teenager. I, I played a rid little bit of the remaster. I, I bought the remaster and the Joy Cons day one. I have only beaten the first dungeon. But I, I honestly kind of got some of that joy back playing it again. It's really fun. I think, honestly, the only thing I'd say about the remaster. Uh, I will say the motion control is worse. I bet, because it's not an accident. Because I, I would imagine uh, Gyro was not the number one priority in Joy-Cons, where that is no. the one gimmick of the... That is the main gimmick of the Wii. Joy-Cons are also kind cool. of... Cool, I can use this. Yeah, I will say, though, uh, I, the Skyward I like Sword Joy-Cons Joy look so better. good. Same I, I wish the Joy-Cons were bigger. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got very big hands and it doesn't matter. I feel like I have to be using these grenades because holy shit. I hate the PS4 controller now because it's so small. It is a very small controller. I have to like, start I gotta, using I... this kid's secondary <laughs> because these dudes are kicking the shit out of me. I'm already like at half yeah, when every other kid. I'm gonna have to sit here. I actually did get a PS5 recently. It only took a month and a half, thanks Walmart. But uh, that controller is amazing. Yeah, I, I hit that classic strategy. I guess Walmart was beta testing a new version of their app, right? Mm -hmm. and, it, and they added that thing where it's just like a one-tap buy, like how Amazon's had for a long time. Yeah. And on an early August drop, I had managed to get through on that, and I ordered a PS5. I ordered it on the 12th of August. I did not get it till like the 20th of September. Sounds about right, <laughs> because of everything going on. Yeah, on top of that, Walmart sold a bunch of stock they didn't have. There really? are still people who ordered it on, like, the 5th of August, Wokey, that don't have it. Jesus, man. I know. Walmart's just fucking horrible at it. It is. Now I'm afraid that this game has maybe crashed. Please don't crash on me, video game. <laughs> not, not Time much to play ever. DMC1. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, don't crash on me. It Shit, really I'll play DMC1. I don't care. I think it really did crash on me. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to end it here, and then later on we are going to come back with DMC1. I was actually kind of like into it for a bit. I was kind of getting into it. There's... So I used to play a lot of Chicken Little on the GameCube. Oh, no. I remember, I... Uh, I remember next talking a bit about that. Good, because I think we have the same thing where we're both kind of really into, like, d like C-grade video games that aren't released anymore. Yeah, I could, I could tell. <laughs> like, the, the most obvious one is, of course, um, Battle for Bikini Bottom, which people have somehow in their mind put as triple A, when clearly that game was a B game, <laughs> or a C game <laughs> at best. A C game that was punching above weight and made it to B. Um, but you cannot deny that those games are just like not good in the actual larger scape of them. But they're they're good enough to make you keep wanting to play. So, yeah, I was kind of into this. Unfortunately, it looks like it has crashed. We will come back at a later time in the Thirteen Nights, and we will play DMC One, and that will be your actual <laughs> game. But thank you very much, Chess, for joining me for this one. Yeah, I uh, had a lot of fun. Uh, 
play Blue Mage. It's the only good job in FF14. Thank you. Thank you. And you'll get to talk more about Blue Mage when we come back with DMC. <laughs> so until next Let's time, everyone, go. have a spooky night. And thank you for watching this 13 Ooh. Nights video.